that was actually going really, really well. Um, <clears throat> I intended to just mumble over the end of this, just like I mumbled at the beginning, because it's really hard for me to talk, as you can probably tell. Holy shit, my voice is totally fucked up. <clears throat> but I do want to talk about this run, because this was actually very interesting. It, uh, it went a hell of a lot better than I expected. Let's see how it did on that. <clears throat> Leaderboards. Ah, it's doing this again. All right. Previous day, next day, how did I do? <laughs> Number 11, nice, and it's uh, it's about two and a half hours after the daily challenge ticked over. Yeah, that went a hell of a lot better than I thought. I think probably what I'm most proud of is the fact that I activated that uh, sacrificial altar thing with that Minotaur. I only tried that once before, and it was so dangerous, and I couldn't get it to work. So I just kind of gave up on it before I even uh, was able to activate it. In fact, that's actually the first time I first time I think I've ever activated one of those sacrificial altar things. And I did it with a freaking mini boss and got that glass rapier, which is uh, a very very powerful weapon. I mean, with the glass rapier combined with that what was it, the ring of war or whatever the hell that is which I'm pretty sure increases my damage, I'm pretty sure I could one-hit kill, like, freaking anything. I mean, what does a Glass Rapier do as its base damage? Isn't it like... Um, actually, what is it? Is it three or four damage? I don't know. It's something very high. And then if you hit, you know, with a Rapier, if you hit them on the tip, it does double the damage. Plus, with the ring that I have, I mean, that's probably doing, like, six plus damage per hit if you hit them on the tip. I mean, hell, I, frick, I fucking one-shotted that boss. The first boss, I one-shotted him. That was an insane amount of damage. And then a little bit later, actually, actually at the end of that boss fight, when I was offered the chests, I actually decided to go with the Obsidian Longsword. Instead of the Glass Rapier. Which might have seemed like a strange choice, right? Because the, what I had with the Glass Rapier does so much damage. To the point where you could probably one-shot any enemy in the entire game if you hit them with the tip. And, I don't know, if you're really, really good at avoiding taking any damage, then, sure, that's probably a good thing to go with. But I was thinking, you know what, I have that ring that increases my damage anyway, and the Obsidian Longsword is going to be doing three points of damage most of the time, because I'm usually going to have a three, you know, a three times multiplier. So three times multiplier means three points of damage, plus the ring, which I think probably gives me like one point more damage. I mean, that's like four points of damage or so. That's a lot. Like, I think that's enough for pretty much anything I'd really need to fight. I don't think one-hit killing stuff is super important. So I went for the stability over the damage. Which... I think was a good idea. I'm trying to remember if I took any damage after getting that weapon. After getting the Obsidian Longsword. Because if I still had the Glass Rapier and I took damage, of course, it would have broken. So I was thinking, you know, the Glass Rapier has a, a higher payoff in total because it does more damage. But on the other hand, if I take a single point of damage, I am completely fucked. I mean, going from having one of the best weapons in the entire game to having literally nothing in your hands. Just with one, uh, you know, half a heart of damage or whatever is just, <laughs> it's an all or nothing sort of thing, which I don't like very much. It's a little bit too dangerous for me. But anyway, that was an interesting run, and I'm really proud of myself for actually activating that sacrificial altar with that Minotaur. That was a... That's a pretty tough thing to do. It's kind of dangerous to be, you know, leading the Minotaur around with your red cloth, trying to avoid getting gored to death by it. But I uh, managed to pull it off for the first time ever. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for October 4th. I'm going to return to mumbling, so...